Developing a Positive Attitude Towards Reading with the Rainbow Fish. In this video, we will investigate how you can use books and reading aloud to your child to grow a positive attitude towards reading in your child. Excerpt from The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Suddenly, the little blue fish was back. Please, he said, could I have just one scale? Well, the rainbow fish thought, maybe just one tiny little scale. The little blue fish was so pleased, it made the rainbow fish feel happy. Soon, all the fish came, and the rainbow fish gave away his scales one by one. Finally, he had only one shining scale left. But now, as he swam off to play with his friends, he was the happiest fish in the sea. Just like the rainbow fish was filled with joy when he shared his treasured scales with the fish who didn't have any, we can give the gift of reading aloud to our children and share with them the wonder of words. When we read to our children aloud, we foster a positive attitude towards reading by making it a pleasurable experience. Much of learning comes from and through the medium of reading. Academic subjects are often taught through books. When children associate positive emotions and memories with books, even from a very young age, taking on the challenge of learning to read or learning from books is far less frightening. In the same way that we associate fond feelings towards activities that are connected to past pleasant memories, children will associate reading with the memories you make with them when reading aloud. Reading to children is one of the best ways to promote a positive attitude towards reading and to give children the sounds and words of literacy and reading. Beginning at birth, all children should be read to with regularity and enthusiasm. To combat negative feelings associated with school and the frustration of learning to read, parents can proactively work to prevent this by reading aloud to their children on a regular basis. Reading aloud to your child will provide a positive atmosphere to enjoy books and to relish learning through literature now and in the future. To learn more, visit slowandsteadygetmeReadyForKindergarten.com.